Is this you? Tired, stuck in bed, and doom scrolling for hours? We've all been there, but when days turn into weeks or months, it's time for a change. So here's how to exit your lazy girl era for good to become the most productive and unstoppable version of you. Girl, I'm gonna be honest with you. I am sick and tired of all of your excuses because you and I both know that you're deserving of so much more, but your laziness is holding you back. Today, I'm gonna give you a foolproof guide on how to get out of your rut once and for all so that you can have the dream life you've always wanted. Now we're gonna start with the basics, which is food, water, shelter, and sleep. These are literally the foundations to surviving as a human. So if you don't have these in check, we've got a problem. First things first, stop eating like you need to start monitoring what you put into your body, whether it's food or it's water. Chances are, if you are feeling exhaustion or fatigue in your body and your brain, it's because you're not nourishing it the way you need to. Like, do you keep having migraines at 3 p.m.? Oh, is it because you only had a cup of coffee today and nothing else to eat, so you're severely dehydrated and super hungry? Or are you always too tired after work to do what you need to because you've effectively spent two hours sitting on the couch mindlessly eating snacks and watching TV. Now I'm not out here trying to spew diet culture BS. That is not the intent. I am simply here to remind you that food is fuel. So you need to recognize what foods make you feel certain ways and how to optimize that so that you are feeling at your utmost energy levels every single day. And that also includes water because dehydration is actually one of the key reasons why we might feel mental fatigue or just exhaustion in our body in general. So I always carry around my trusty water bottle. I like to fill her three to four times a day and that's how I know that I'm staying hydrated. A lot of us are just not in tune with the fact that we might be hungry or thirsty. So if you wanna be productive, you need to start understanding those signals and fueling your body accordingly. Eat whole foods, don't mindlessly snack. Be very intentional about what you're putting in because you, Miss Ma'am, are a little Mercedes Benz and you want to be putting in premium gas and not low octane fuel. Clean and organize your space. Clear space, clear mind. There have literally been studies that show people living in more clean spaces are less stressed, more relaxed, and way more productive. Clutter is demotivating you from doing the things that you need to. Like, think about it. You're way more likely to want to sit down at a completely clean and organized desk than one that's just filled with papers, cups, garbage, food, etc. You're also more likely to want to cook in a kitchen that has ample counter space and no dirty dishes around. The physical barrier of just having clutter everywhere is going to create a mental barrier for you to do the things that you want to. Now I'm going to be really honest for me personally, staying clean and decluttered is something that I'm still working on, but something that's really helped me is just setting a 10 minute timer on my phone every single day to get cleaning done. And you will not believe how much you can clean in 10 minutes. Over time, as you start cleaning different areas of your house, your house will consistently stay more clean and easier to maintain. So make cleaning a habit because it is something that is going to drastically improve your mental health and make you more productive. Un your sleep schedule. No, I don't think people realize just how important your sleep hygiene is. Those eight hours, eight to nine hours of sleep that you get is the most productive time of your day. Your body is literally regenerating and healing itself and you need that time to be the most optimal if you want your body to run properly because it affects your heart, your immunity, your hormones, your metabolism, every single thing, sleep effects. So you need to start prioritizing, regulating your circadian rhythm, and here's how. Number one, you need to start sticking to a consistent sleep schedule, and that's just waking up and sleeping around the same time every single day, because that will really allow your body to predict when you're going into a state of rest. Yes, this means you need to stop binging Netflix until 4 a.m. on the weekends. You need to keep to the schedule regardless of what day it is.
Number two, really try and decrease your nap time because if you're taking a two hour nap in the middle of the day, girl, you are messing with your sleep schedule. Number three, stop drinking caffeine eight hours before you're going to bed. I typically cap out at noon just to give myself buffer because I sleep at 10. Caffeine in your system decreases your quality of sleep. Number four, have a nighttime and morning routine. I will talk about routines later in this video because they are so important, but these are essentially the bookends of your sleep. So if you can signal to your brain, this is what I do before bed, you need to wind down. And this is what I do when I wake up to get started for the day. You can start being more consistent and regulating your circadian rhythm. All right, so now that we have all of our basics down and you're gonna start eating and sleeping well and cleaning your space, let's talk about your goals. Because you wanna leave your lazy girl era for a reason, right? So my question to you is, what are your goals? And don't just tell me, oh, I wanna get fit, oh, I want good grades. No, you need more concrete goals than that. A good way to do this is to write SMART goals, which stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. So instead of saying, I wanna get fit, you can say, I wanna start going to the gym four times a week until the end of this year. That way you can measure whether or not you've achieved that goal and you're way more specific about the actions that you're going to take to actually get fit. But here's the thing, goals are just the destination, okay? Just because you set goals doesn't mean you're going to be productive and never slip back into your lazy girl era. So in order to fully get yourself out of it once and for all, you need to change your lifestyle, which comes through habits, systems, and routines. Habits and routines are the reason people get shit done when they don't want to when they lack the motivation, because motivation is so fleeting, but routines are not. So as you look at your goals, ask yourself, what habits do you need to have in order to make yourself successful to reaching these goals? Say your goal is you wanna get straight A's this quarter. A habit you're gonna develop is you're not gonna say yes to any hangouts until you get your work done for that day. You're gonna wake up every single morning and study for an hour every day. Identify the core actions and tasks that you need to turn into habits in order to achieve your goal. Now for routines, it is incredibly important that you have a solid morning routine because that is going to set the tone for the rest of your day. Now I'm not saying you need to have a seven step routine starting at 5 a.m., but I do think you need to have two elements to your routine. And that's one, doing something for you and two, preparing for the day ahead. By doing something for you, you already show yourself that you're prioritizing your needs over everyone else before the day starts, before your inbox gets flooded with asks or you take customer orders at the restaurant you're working at, before you have to deal with everyone else, do something for you. Use this time to work towards your goals. In addition to your morning routine, these are six key things you need to start doing to become the most productive version of you. The first thing is you really need to prioritize taking care of your physical self. So what that means is movement every single day and your self hygiene. Whether it's a walk, a workout, a stretch, or just getting up and moving, make sure you have moments in your day where you're not just sitting. Because you know what makes us tired and lazy? sitting on our asses all day. Get up, get moving, be active. It's gonna give you endorphins. It's gonna make you feel good and way more confident so that you can tackle all of the tasks ahead. Now with the personal hygiene part, I think it is very important to take care of your body, shower, do your hair, get ready in the day because you are signaling to your brain that you are up and going and no longer you know, in your PJs and in bed. Take care of this physical vessel that you have so that you can use it to its maximum potential and appreciate it for being able to carry you and allowing you to do the things that you want to do. In addition to that physical part of you, you need to take care of your mental because your brain is everything. And I talk about self-concept a lot, but your perception of who you are, who you are at the core and how you see everyone else is so incredibly important for whether or not you will be able to continue to drive success, drive momentum and stay disciplined. 
So if you no longer want to identify with a lazy girl and you want to be a productive girl, like that needs to change with your self concept. Start journaling, go to therapy, learn more about yourself, work on your limiting beliefs and release them because all of that negativity is stopping you from being the best version of yourself. Another habit you're going to develop is to plan every single day because that is going to allow you to take control and structure your day. For me, it's in my morning routine to actually write down all my to-dos for that day and then time block because if I'm able to take all of my to-dos, schedule them into a calendar, I can actively see and plan my day to set myself up for success, to be able to accomplish all the things that I want to do. Now, I know all of us have written unfinished to-do lists, so a key thing that's helped me out recently is identifying one big thing that I need to get done every single day and not going to bed until it's finished. This will help you out so much because it's less about checking off all of the things on your to-do list and more about finishing the most important task of the day. So you stop productively procrastinating by washing the dishes or doing the laundry. No, you focus on the thing that needs to get done and that will move you towards your goal so much faster. Now, if you do find yourself procrastinating with your to-do list, try and take your big tasks and break them down to itty bitty tiny tasks. It is so daunting to put something like write essay on your to-do list. Break it down into research the topic, write an outline, create a draft. And if those are even too big, you can literally break it down into the tiniest pieces. For an outline, you could say brainstorm the top three points you want to make in your essay. Find the evidence that correlates with each point. And you can continue to break it down until it is actually digestible for you to check off on your to-do list. And it's gonna feel so much better writing out all of the step-by-step -step processes so you can cross it off when it's done. That's so rewarding, like mm, dopamine hit. It's also incredibly important to build systems to remove distractions while you work. Now I do this a few ways. One, I have an app blocker installed on my phone that doesn't allow me to access most applications throughout the day. Two, I have do not disturb on so I don't see notifications pop up on my phone. Three, I have notifications off for all my social media. So I do not get Instagram, TikTok, YouTube notifications, none of that. I have to just go check whenever I have free time. And four, I really try not to use social media during the day, like from the hours of nine to five or even earlier than that, because it is so easy to get sucked in. Like it is so, so addicting for our brains to just sit there and scroll endlessly. So I know that if I only have like a five minute break between meetings, I will not check social media because I will get sucked in. The last habit that you should 100% develop is learning how to draw boundaries and saying no. You cannot be a people pleaser if you wanna get out of your lazy girl era. You need to stop saying yes to things that don't serve you, people that you don't wanna hang out with, things that are outside of your plan for the day, things that are gonna take you off track from meeting your goals because the more you say no, the more you affirm to yourself that you're gonna show up for yourself, that you're not lazy, you're motivated and you are productive and you are moving towards your goals. Keep saying no because that's where you hold your power. Don't let people take the time and energy that you need to work on yourself and achieve what you want. All right, that brings me to the end of today's video, but I'm gonna give a quick recap, starting with the basics. If you wanna get out of your lazy girl era, you need to optimize your food, water, shelter, and sleep. Get all of that in check, and that will be the foundation for you to actually be more productive and have energy. Once you have all of that set, write down concrete goals in a smart framework. Now to actually reach your goals, you need to build the right systems, habits, and routines because that's what's going to change your lifestyle and make a lasting impact versus just change your day. In those routines, you need to develop habits around six key areas. One, taking care of your physical self. Two, taking care of your mental well-being. Three, planning every single day. Four, learning how to break down tasks into smaller pieces. Five, removing distractions. And six, learning how to say no. Now with all of that, you will be able to exit your lazy girl era for good and become the most productive version of you today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop me a comment down below because I'd love to hear what your goals are and I will see you next time.